in Michigan, Georgia, and Arizona, in all of them, we have found um, anonymous user uh, uh, remote access logons um, that uh, would have elevated privileges uh, in the election management system, which means anyone who does that uh, through a remote logon with elevated privileges uh, can access the actual database and change results. So that's pretty significant that we found it in three states now. It is a pattern, um, and it is significant. Um, the other thing that we just did this uh, weekend is we launched a new website called EIFFTAR, Election Integrity Funds for the American Republic, and we're devoting um, our attention uh, through that fund to raise money for the Arizona audit uh, exclusively without anyone coming in to try to siphon money out from the public and put it elsewhere. We're putting it directly into the Arizona audit. Uh, and the third thing, no one else has heard this before, but I was uh, coming on a, back from Arizona yesterday on a plane um, and uh, was notified that our team also discovered the following, uh, that Maricopa County um, and the Secretary of State in Arizona uh, have known for quite some time since November 3rd that there was a security breach of the voter registration servers, and they have hid this from the American public, and we are releasing it right now on your show for the first time. Give us that one more time. we got about a minute. Walk us through that. We'll have you back on at 5. This is breaking news. Give us that again. There was a security breach of the voter registration servers in Arizona. On November 3rd, Secretary of State has known about this. They have hidden it. They have not revealed it to the American people. Maricopa County has also known about it. You're saying Katie Hobbs is on as a contributor, MSNBC and CNN. You're saying she actually knew this breach happened and never came forward and told anybody? That's absolutely correct. We know this because we now have learned that voters in Arizona actually received some notification individually um, that some of their data had been breached, but they've hidden it from the rest of us. When are you going to put forward the evidence on this, Matt? Uh, because you guys, you're, you're a guy that always puts forth your evidence, your data. When are you going to put forth your evidence for this charge? Pretty big charge. We are working on it. We just found about it, out about it yesterday. So we're working on that today, tomorrow. Um, we'll get that data out. Uh, but I want people to also understand we are raising money through the uh, uh, EIFFTAR.org for the Arizona audit. Give us that one more time. Put in the live chat. Where's, what's the site they go to? E-I-F-F-T-A-R dot org stands for Election Integrity Funds for the American Republic. 